Hello everyone, my name is Cassandra and I'd like to welcome you to Gilda's Club Chicago. And today we're gonna to be talking about self-care. Thank you so much for coming in with me. I hope that everyone is doing well today. And so I wanna start with a couple of points that we're going to be um, identifying with. The first one is a stress response, acute stress, chronic stress, burnout, compassion fatigue, self-care and mindfulness. These are some very, very important things that we need to identify. We know that today that we have been really encountering some difficult times. We know that we are still in a pandemic and we are just now coming out of our physical distancing. We're still doing a lot of social distancing where we are on a computer and doing different things, but it's very important that we identify with some of those things to provide positive self-care. So the first one we're gonna talk about today is stress response the body's physical and mental response when we perceive a, a threatening stressor. So the most commonly known is our fight, flight, or freeze. That's when your heart rate quickens. Breathing becomes shallow and quick. Blood flows to a major muscle in the group, and you just begin to just feel very, very lightheaded. So those are some things that you need to identify with and to make sure that you understand what they are. Our second thing is acute stress. A stressor that is brief, typically lasting about 30 minutes or less. The stress response is turned on when it's threatened or perceived uh, to things that are not in your common norm. So basically you begin to walk funny or you notice that your sight has doubled. So those are things that are very important to you to identify with as well. Your chronic stress. Chronic stress is very, very important. This is a stressor that is ongoing. It turns on, it turns off, and it stays around the things that heightens in your life um, from dealing with some bad news or your children or your job or different things that have been perceived in ways that you don't understand, receiving the unknown diagnosis or either just receiving some things in your life that you wasn't prepared for from death and other things that may be a complication. So those are chronic stressors that you should be aware of. Burnout. Burnout are some things from physical or mental collapse that are caused by overwork or stress. So we have been focused on self-care and what those stresses are, but we know that in today's society, it's important that we work. Working is very, very important. So it is something that we don't identify with to say that we are burnt out. Instead, we say that we keep working out, but it causes us to become burnt out because you're overworked. Compassion fatigue. These are things that people suffer with and we don't sometimes identify. You know, freaking things that appeal to you. You can feel numb, annoyed, angry, empathetic when you're supporting others or you feel that their situation has just become so overwhelming. You give so much compassion that you fatigue yourself, which causes you to not be able to help that person because you emotionally drain. Self-care. Self-care is something that we are going to focus on more and more today because it is something that we say that we do, but we don't. We walk around and we talk about ourselves, but we don't provide that care that we need. So those are things that you need to maintain with physical, mental, or emotional health. And it helps you to feel healthy. It relaxes you. It gets your body prepared to work. Your mind gets prepared to work. You learn more positive things, your purpose in life. So that's very, very important. And my last point is being mindful. The mindfulness is the awareness that merges through paying attention to your purpose and your presence in the moment and not being judgmental or unfolding experiences, but the moment that things go on and on that is important. So now we're going to go into our second portion. And I'm going to give you just a little bit of a quiz. And I wanna ask you some questions that I would like for you to take the time to identify. And when you do that, you can write them down, you can have a self-reflection, but I would like for you to know that these questions will be available on our website if you would like to revisit and quiz yourself one-on-one. -on -one. My first question is, how often do you get a good night's sleep? Every day, often, sometimes, or seldom, never. Number two, how often do you keep up with your leisure activities that you enjoy before not caring for yourself? How often do you feel irritable or you lose your temper with others? 
How often do you feel happy? How often do you find difficulties in concentrating? How often do you need a cigarette, a cup of coffee, or other vices in your life? How often do you lack energy to cook, clean, take care of your basic needs? And how often do you feel hopeless about your future? How often are you able to relax without using any type of prescription drugs or sedatives? How often do you feel overwhelmed by all that you have to do? How often has someone criticized you or suggested that you are on this edge, that you are burning out, but you don't wanna acknowledge it? How often do you feel that someone that you are close to is not loving themselves or you either? I know that you noticed that the questions that I asked all started with how often. That is very important because how often do we forget how important it is for us to take care of ourselves? How often do we feel that it's important that we stay cool? How often do we find ourselves saying that we're gonna do some things in life, we're gonna take a vacation, we're gonna go exercise, we're gonna change our diet, we're gonna do some self-care, we're gonna wear some makeup today, we're gonna get our hair cut. How often is one of the words that we just generally put into our vocabulary. But now I want you to change that how often to how can I? How will I? And moving forward, this is how I will change my life, providing self-care. The first thing I'd like for you to do is make it a priority. You have to make time for yourself. It's a regular schedule. Take small breaks throughout the day. Remember that you have an airplane speech and your airplane speech often starts with, Let's sit down. Let's buckle our seatbelt. Here's some things in case of an accident that we have to take oxygen. So by saying that, your self-care is your oxygen each and every day. So remember, taking care of yourself is just like keeping your mask on when you're on a flight. You have to be mindful that it's important that you take care of yourself. Don't double book. Guard your time. Guard your things at work. Take that lunch break. Don't feel overwhelmed. Don't agree to do something instead of taking the time. Don't take too much of it. Making sacrifices, it makes you build resentment on the things that are not good for you knowing that they can be great for you. So understanding that double booking can cause some double stress. Learn to switch off. That is very hard, even for myself. You're used to being go, 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 do, 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 move, move, move. It makes you feel so weird that you're slowing down or you're even stopping. This is a very important thing. Listen to your inside voice. It helps you to go to your outside voice to say, no, we can't do that. There's nothing wrong. Let's be accurate and moving slowly. Let's turn this switch off because if you turn it off and when you turn it back on, you're helping someone else. Remember, the days get easier, but the stress get harder. Learn both quick and slow fixes. Learn what you can do at the moment. Take time to do your self-care and guard against your stress, as well as activities that you learn to enjoy that you want to do longer. You may have a trial and error at first. We all do, nothing is perfect, but it's always important to do these options. Take some days, have vigorous ways to do these options so you don't trick yourself to say, I don't wanna fix it, I can't fix it, but instead you'll look back and say, look how I fixed it. Have a technology-free day. We know that today our world is filled with technology. You always have your phone. Your phone is part of your lifeline. Television, we like to do our movie buffs, but understand that the internet, social media, that becomes a very strange type of stressor. It's important. We get stuck in the hours. My thing, TikToking can be your trigger. We sit and we see one of those TikToks and all of a sudden we are TikToking and it's seven o'clock and next day is 12 o'clock. It's important that we understand that we glimpse at social media and you can remove that glimpse and start doing things that become a happy part. It can also be some things that is making you feel inaccurate, a lack of being left out or just taking a moment to say I'm inserting myself in things that are not healthy for me. 
So let's do some technology free day. Bake a cake, go visit a friend. Open communication is effective communication. Take advantage of some support and resources. As always, we promote our Gilders Club Chicago. We have so many free support programs here. Come and join us. Look on our website, we'd love to have you. Take advantage and drive over to a friend house, a loved one, make appointment to have a dinner by yourself, go to the show, use your programs, do some spirituality, advancement, counseling, try to go and see some things that you haven't been doing. Go through some old paperwork that you wanna purge, change your house, do some things that's very important to utilize your resources. And last but not least, be gentle with yourself. You're going to do these things, and I know that it's scary. I know that it's difficult. I know that sometimes you feel like it's a possible and a happy ending. But being hard on yourself is not self-care. Loving yourself provides self-care. And so when we do this, we want to provide most of the important things that are useful, helpful. And as always, Cassandra being Cassandra, we love you. And just know that self-care starts with you giving care to yourself. Thank you.